Hi guys and girls and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a DIY gel nails at home. As you can see, they are pretty, they're not terrible for three weeks, excuse my old wrinkly hands. We've got a little bit of chipping over here and a little bit of lifting here, but for three weeks they're not terrible. Um, I started to do my nails when I was about 14, 15 years old and I use the brand Sensational and my good old trusted lamp is still going over 10 years strong honestly it saves you an absolute fortune if you do the steps right you can easily get sometimes i've even managed to get about four weeks out of them but as i say three weeks this set's lasted me um i have quite an avid collection of the colors because i'm always one of these once i have a new set of nails i want a completely different color so we're going from the orange at the moment as you can see here and the colour that I've chosen, you will see later on because I actually done an Instagram poll over on my lifestyle channel. I'll pop the link up there for you to go and check it out. And there was a category that you guys wanted me to go for. And looking through the selection, we shall see what I've chosen. So sit back, get your cup of tea. And yeah, just another thing to do in isolation and something that you could take on and do later on and save yourself some money. So here I have just a few that I go to quite often. So we have from top to bottom, I'm quite greys, nudes, read your profile. Depending on the season and how I'm feeling, talk dance when you drive me crazy. These are probably my two go-to ones. Smaller bottles, we've got the Rose Gold Glitter and Coral Sunset. Scarlet Red Classic and Silver Glitter. And then here we have In the Shade, which is like a deep mocha brown. And then Mia Moore, which is a really nice copper for the autumn time. And then Sugar Plum and Taupe Tulips. And then moving over to this side, again some more go-tos greyish and gloomy and i sleep bare naked you've got move it or lose it and papa don't peach pink daisy and very nice these are nice summer colors and we're coming into spring we have heirloom lilac and precious peony and then these are more the autumn colors as well blue yonder and misbehave and also purple orchid and taupe tulip. So they're the two sections that I have on my vanity. And then moving into the drawer for the nail bits, as you can see, we have quite a lot of stuff. At the back is all the false nails, so if there's any that break off, I have some stencils as well. I can just pop them on while the nail regrows. Uh, nail polish remover. I have some cuticle sticks from Primark. This is my nail kit here. Oh, I think these were Millie Macintosh. I got a set at Christmas. These are probably just what I'll use on like my toes or anything like that. And then we have a few more Ted Bakers. And then the non-gel ones are normally just standard colours. That I have with the gel version but I'll do as a pedi if I can't be bothered to do gels on my toenails to be perfectly honest and then these are all the rest of the colors I've also got some chrome so you put a white or black base coat and then dip your nail in it and it you then rub it off and it goes almost like a mirrored effect I think that's quite cool we might try that and then clear transparent I've just got a top up of the gel cleanser so i've got the remedy kit spare and then all oh, seize the day that's another lovely spring one oh, so we've got here boys in blue on the black sheet i do have quite a mixture lemon white lovely summer ones so i do have quite a selection these are actually really nice i might go for still don't know what i'm actually going to go for today oh I have some of them I do actually have a duplicate of so I think I had coral sunset up on here yeah so I have a duplicate but that's the older one up there and then here is just nail polish removers 
uh, my buffing blocks, nail glue toe separators, and then the main piece of kit is the Sensational. So this is inside the Sensational little packet. So this is the lamp, very battered and brewed. And then you can just replenish the purchase kits, which will get you a primer, a base coat, your little wipe off coat that you need. Gel cleanser is the proper word. And then your little limp pads. Um, I also have these, but I've never actually tried them. Nail shield. So as you can see from the state of my nails, these are about three weeks old now. They're not terrible. Um, the other hand, so we've got a little bit of chip in there. And they've just started to lift slightly. You can see here, this one started to lift. But for three weeks... It's not terrible. Um, I actually done an Instagram live, hey, and you voted for nudes and grey. So I'm going to actually go from top to bottom. There we go. Let's get started. So here is everything set up. As I say, so we've got the lamp. Once I take it off, the first thing I will do is buff it. And then we go in with the gel cleanser and then the primer and then we do the clear coat and then we do one layer of the colour, cure it onto the lamp, another coat, cure it, back to the transparent, cure it and then back in with the cleanser and we just use the limp pad just to wipe off any sticky. So the best way to take them off, I'm not recommending this at all, I normally just push my nail under and then it comes off in one huge bit people are probably going to moan and say you need to use the tools but i find this works the quickest and most effective way for me and then i'm back to my nails um these are actually my real nails So here you have the nails, you see they're a little bit battered than that. So all I'm going to do is go in with the black side, just smooth it down and this will just roughen it up and take it down before you have anything start to work. Then you go in with the brown side and again just rub it all over. And then you go in with the white side, which is the shiny side, and it would just give it a nice smooth surface to work on before applying the cleanser. Let's move you around a bit. There we go. Right, so I'm just going to repeat this process for all of the nails, and I will come back soon. So hopefully, as you can see... Oops, have a look. They're a lot more shinier. The grit's gone off. Oh, God. God, they look so long here. <laughs> so what I'll do, I will jump onto this hand, then come back once they're all... So now they've all been shined down and smooth. I can't recommend these buffing blocks enough. As I say, this is my original from Soap & Co. I do have a few others. So I have... This one from the body shop, so it tells you and it's all numbered. And I got another one. This one is from a shop in Ashford, I think it's Beauty Store, and they do a lot of W7 and high street makeup. So you have buff, file, smooth, and then shine. And I think this was really inexpensive, I think this was less than two pounds. The buffing blocks from Body Shop, I think, are about three or four pounds. And then the soap and co, I think I got this as a set, about 20 pounds, but I got it with a hand moisturizer and all the kits when I first started getting into doing my nails. So definitely recommend it. So once this has been done, you just get the gel cleanser, tip a little bit onto the pad, so you can see the pad's absorbed it, and then you literally just coat all the nail 
and then where you've buffed it it just takes off any of the residue any of the dust and leaves it smooth enough so that when you go in with your primer the primer can stick to it smoothly and it just gives it a little bit of a shine this also you do at the end of the process so I don't know if you can see they're a lot more just shiny now you do this at the end once you've done the gel you do your two coats and then at the end you'll go over again like this and it just takes off the tackiness that you can sometimes get with a gel now and then gives it a lovely little shine again let's have a look so you don't need a lot of this at the beginning pop that back there and then as you can see they've all got the shine to them so now they've all been cleansed and buffed we are going to go in with the gel primer you just do a thin layer of this on the nails let it dry naturally and then you're ready to start on the coating and now you just let that dry see it just gives them a shine let that dry for a few moments and then you'll be able to pop on the clear coat right so now we take the clear gloss you have to do the layers very very thin with this so you just do one clear layer first of all and then you literally just pop it under you see and you would literally just do that. I always do the thumb first before the rest of the hands. Just that way I always find it's more stable. So you let it cure for 30 seconds. And then I always let it cure for another 30 seconds just so that I know that layer is fully sealed. Right, so now we take the top colour and again just do a thin layer of this on the nail and again you have to do this thinly because it will bobble and as I say you do two coats anyway but you can always do a third sometimes on the more transparent colours I will do three coats but it's best to do thin layers as opposed to one thick layer and see that lovely colour looks weird from this angle <laughs> and now we go in for the second coat And then once you've got the two coats on it, it's not going to focus, you just go back in with the clear, which is the gel base top coat. You do another thin layer. And this just adds the shine to it and seals it. Gives it that nice glossy finish.
and then we go back with the gel cleanser a little bit on the pad clean it up and there you go so I'm going to go and finish the rest of this hand and I'll be back once we have one hand completed. See you in a bit. So that's the first hand done, very shiny, very glossy, so a lot better compared to that, oh god, it's only a little bit left, so oh, let's zoom you out a little bit, slightly better, so this hand goes normally fine this hand can sometimes end up looking like a two-year-old's done it so we shall pray and i shall see you when the other hand's completed <laughs> So we are back and this, you're doing a rubbish job Sean, this is the finished product. And as I say, normally, obviously filming it takes a little bit longer, but I can normally get a set off and a new set in about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, you can pick these kits up from Argos, Boots, anywhere like that. Or just type in Sensation Now and your own website will come up. The nail varnishes, you can get the standard ones, which are a size like this. They retail at £15. Or the taller bottles, they call them an express gel. They're normally £10. But you can sometimes get some packages. Uh, I think it's 3 for 22 uh, Argos do the packages, which is why on some of them I've got the duplicates. Because I've had them singly and then I had some come in the packages. But yeah, I hope you liked it. As I say, order online if you can. It's something else to do in the boredom and the isolation of what we are currently. But it could be something that you get the hang of and if you're one that regularly goes and gets your nails done, it helps you save a little bit. So that is the end of the video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you did like it, hit that thumbs up button. And if you could, subscribe down below. It would mean the world to me. We're still only on one follower. I'm getting a few views, but we're not getting many followers. Also, leave a comment of some videos that you'd like to see me to do in the future. I have a few planned, a few bake with me, a few cookings, a few more DIY, skincare, healthcare wise videos. But yeah, if not, take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.